All right, folks, so in this video, I'm going to put the Peerless Assassin, Thermal Right Peerless Assassin, on this AM5 CPU, uh, basically upgrading the CPU cooler. Now, we're taking this off an AM4, so that'll be the first part of the video. Just doing the uninstall. Um, you folks may need to fast forward that don't care to see this, but uh, you know, sometimes it's helpful to watch this aspect. So, get these fans off. I'm gonna pull these clips out like so. Um, and notice when I pull these off, I had them going in the same direction, right? So, airflow going in the same direction. Um, the other thing about this is this clip here that uh, allows you to plug two into one. So hopefully you got that in your box. Um, I disassembled it because basically we need to, I think, show everybody how we did everything. Uh, this cable here is kind of in the way. This is my something you can buy off Amazon. Little power cable. Um, so we're uh, loosening these screws in here, not doing one side um, all at once. And I do have a little rubber mat here to hopefully protect the, uh, the motherboard. Now this motherboard, I previously uh, broke the uh, CMOS battery connector which was, uh, you know, relatively cheap plastic. Um, so we're going to clean this up. Quite a bit of uh, thermal paste, maybe a little too much. Yeah, you can say too much. So I should get motivated to maybe sell this CPU off. Or actually, I don't think these things are worth much. This is the, what's on here is the R5. Ryzen 5 3600 XT. Uh, we do have a 3200G. What else do we have? 5300G. 3200G, 3400G. I think we have 3400G. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing I've hated about AM4, they are so much easier to bend the pins. Uh, than the Intel ones, which is, you know, super frustrating. Um, not that it's going to do me any good, but there's the back plate. We'll need the back plate for the next install, but it's already installed. So I'm basically, you know, going to set this aside. We won't need that anytime soon. And just so you can see it, this is the... A620M Gaming X motherboard. I bought this off of a uh, good old eBay. Uh, it does have two bad RAM slots. And uh, it actually seems to have some other issues. Uh, we won't go into that though. But, um, you know, I found the one issue and the guy I bought it off actually refunded the whole motherboard instead of me sending it back. Um, I guess that's, you know, for them, rather than spend another $20 on a motherboard that's effed up, it is better to give me a full refund. Now I, um, I don't know if I'll do this. If I go sell it, I kind of feel like I should sell, send them whatever I make minus the, the cost, you know, fees. Will I do that? Am I that, you know, kind of, uh, um, do I have that great character, moral character? Um, probably not, folks. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> sad. It's sad to say that. Because a couple times on eBay, I've had people, you know, send me junk. Um, stuff that's got some value, you know. They just give you the full refund. And I've eventually turned around and sold it. Um, of course, I have a pile of motherboards that have issues from things I've bought off eBay uh, that people didn't properly test. There's a reason those were uh, refurb units. 
So we'll clean this up and then um, get this ready for the install. And I don't even see the pause button, folks. Wow. All right, so I did put the uh, the stock cooler that came with the Ryzen 5 7600. I put it on this XT. Um, you know, interesting enough, I don't know if this cooler is, is good enough uh, for that. We'll, uh, we'll find out later, I guess. So, you know, interesting story. When I originally put this in, the uh, black cover uh, was actually put in upside down uh, from the person I bought this motherboard on. Which is kind of funny because the triangle, you know, lining, trying to line up the triangle, I was like, hey, this is, uh, something's wrong here. And lo and behold, that's what it was. Alright, so we're, uh, putting those on. And now... Hopefully I won't screw this part up. So we put the spacers in, now we put this bracket on. And so, you know, one thing you want to do before you, um, if you don't have the directions, and let's say in the future you do this install by, hopefully by memory, um, unless you're, you know, have my problem where you had a serious head injury. Um, can't remember a damn thing, can't focus. Um, then you may forget which way these brackets are oriented. So, uh, basically we want to check this out and they, uh, they go the other way, folks. <laughs> so, um, they'll be curved in. Not curved out. So, you know, in the videos, I like to always show that um, with the Intel, we try to show the direction of the fans because since that's a square pattern, you could put your cooler in one of uh, four orientations, right? So this is actually kind of weird that this will be in this orientation. So this is the AM4 bracket. Um, and it's interesting whether this is, uh, whether these ship with a slightly different bracket for AM5 or if this actually works, you know. I did absolutely no research before this video. Sometimes, folks, you just got to figure your stuff out on your own. Now, I will admit at times I've taken a shortcut or two watching somebody else's work on YouTube, but... Once you've installed a bunch of these, usually it's not too difficult to do another one. Uh, this is a little goofy, though, that these would be oriented in like this. Now, let's see here. Okay, that's perfect. Now, the reason I went this way, I went outside, is because, you know, most of the Noctua's are like that. Um, so it's good. I'm going to put a little dab of thermal paste on there just to see if it's going to make contact. And then we'll... Uh, Yeah. 
So we'll put a little bit down and we just want to make sure that it's actually making contact. And then we'll put more thermal paste down. I didn't even realize there's a movie going on in the background. Most likely that's going to be a problem. We may have to edit some of this out. So, um, you know, you want to get a few threads on the first post and then do the second post. Get a few threads on it. Uh, and then basically just working your way around. You might not be able to see that, what we're doing. And I just want to tighten this down to just verify that it is indeed um, spreading that thermal paste. Then we'll take it off and we'll put the proper amount of thermal paste on. Since I've never used this fan with the uh, AM5, now if you buy this cooler nowadays, it probably actually tells you everything you need to know as far as what's compatible. So look at that. That's a pretty good spread, folks. Um, so we're going to put a dab on there again. Uh, after we clean this off. And, uh, yeah, looking good so far. So that was um, pretty much the perfect amount of thermal paste. All right, so here we go again. Hopefully we won't run out of recording time. Now that we've proven this will work, and then there's probably been hundreds of other videos. You know, I gotta thank Thermal Right. Um, this product has basically made me a crap ton of money on uh, YouTube. Um, I think I've done like 10 videos on it and some of them have made hundreds of dollars. Uh, it's been a beautiful thing. I just wish all the other Thermalrite products were as good. Right, so this is as, this is better than um, a Noctua NHU-12S. Oh, it's a little bigger. Um, it would be better than the uh, NHU-12S Performance, the one that has dual fans but a single tower. Not going to be as good as NH, uh, excuse me, the D D14, D15. Um, but the other one that they have is, is pretty darn close, so. All right. Now, I will do gaming videos with this, um, just so you know. All right, so this is the I.O. side over here. We want our fans uh, facing that way. All right, this is the exhaust side. This, whoops, is the uh, intake side, all right? So both fans need to be oriented with the exhaust facing the I.O. side. Now this thing here, we're gonna um, try and wrap that up into here. And so hopefully we can get that on there. Oops. And amazingly these things pop off. Um, all right, so there we go. There's one down. Now, this fan, intake, exhaust, we want it oriented the same way. 
uh, where I put both of those on at the same time on that one, you could also struggle with trying to do one at a time. So you get that side like that, and then you come in, and this can be a real big pain in the butt doing it this way, but it is possible. Um, go in there like so, boom, all right. Now, our cables are hopefully um, findable, just barely. And so we want to plug these in. There's only one way to do this properly. You could do it another way, but you'd probably break it. And then we'll plug that in over here. This is your uh, CPU cooler post or header. And it's good to go, folks. Guaranteed to uh, work. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll try to put some videos down below for gaming purposes. So you guys can see the temps. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope we didn't cut too much off. Looks like we might have probably knowing me. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.